What is up guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, it's Keisha, back at it with a brand new video. Today we're gonna be chatting about some TikTokers. It's been a hot minute since I really spoke about anyone on TikTok and that's good, no complaints here, trust me. Someone came in my DM last night telling me about this story. I was kind of aware about it because I saw a fellow content creator called Grayson. Speak on it, I will link the channel down below for you guys. I love the way Grayson has spoken about it. I feel like I learned more about the situation. Make sure you guys like, comment and subscribe if you end up enjoying today's discussion. Don't be stingy with it smash the like button it really does help me and i feel like when i mention it to you guys you guys remember because sometimes people forget i'm like babes the first thing i do when it comes to certain people's videos i'm just like smash the button of course I'm going to be doing a get ready with me. I'm planning on taking some pictures for a new YouTube profile picture. Is that Keisha being professional? Yeah. Go and follow me on my Instagram because I'm going to be following a bunch of you guys back. Like I literally dare you right now. Yes, you. Go and DM me. Go and follow me on Instagram. Is the challenge accepted or not? I'm going to leave some pictures on the screen of the inspo looks that I'm going for today. I just love Pinterest. I feel like I'm a Pinterest holic. Like I feel like I just can't go one day without going on Pinterest. It's mad. Like Pinterest has my life. The chokehold. I'm probably going to suck at doing my eyebrows, so don't laugh at me. Um, most people will complain that their eyebrows never look you know the same i just complained that my eyebrows never look good period so we'll see how today goes i'm gonna have more faith in myself because that's what you guys expect for me to do i've tried to do thick eyebrows before if you go and check out my instagram i've tried the whole thick eyebrow thing baby it's not for me man like i have a tiny ass forehead i can only fr three fingers oh that Anyways, before we get started, how's your day going? Let me know, how has this week been for you? I'm gonna be posting this video on a Sunday or Monday, I believe, so hi. Um, but let me know how your day's gone at least. Like, hopefully it's not been too bad. I'm laughing because people think I'm not a nice person. Get it together, oh, extra crunchy. I look a mess right now, but let's go ahead and just talk about the mess. Hannah, Kim, and Ned. I knew who she was because, I don't know how I came across her, but I just thought she was a really pretty girl. Uh, I think she has a couple of videos on her YouTube channel, but she isn't, you know, too consistent, but I've watched them before uh she's a really pretty girl i just thought you know what let me go and follow that's literally what it is as for her partner i don't know who the hell he is i hope i don't sound ridiculous i don't know who this man is he could be walking down the street i wouldn't i wouldn't know a thing and if i'm being honest with you based on this situation it's not looking too good for him this is a topic that's been going around for quite some time now it's only i would say recently channels have picked up on it and reported on it and that's good better late than never so i'm just going to tell you guys a bit about these individuals so hannah kim is a 20 year old social media personality from canada a tiktok star who is best recognized for her viral dancing videos and makeup videos Shit. Like, end it. Same pretty much goes for her partner as well. He's had a couple of viral videos, but I would say she's more popular than him. The headline here says Hannah Kim's boyfriend, Ned, I'm not even going to attempt to say his surname. I don't want to butcher it. Heavy allegations explained. Since the beginning of this year, Ned has found himself in hot water. Accusations of have surrounded him since March 2021. Looking at this article now, which I will link down below for you guys, I'll leave the two of them linked down below. But basically, it's showing like a screenshot of people stating what he's done. So allegedly, he blocked all the victims and avoiding the situation. He cheated on his girlfriend multiple times, ended up left her for somebody else. He even borrowed her $150 to get an Airbnb with his new girl, allegedly. I'm not trying to guess, listen, 2022, I'm trying to hope is a better one, yeah. Took sex videos without permission and exposed the videos on his live and sent to random people. He harassed the girls. That's just a couple of the accusations. Here are the accusations against Ned. It says it all started when an Instagram page by the name of Cancel Ned began posting messages and screenshots of the victims of Ned. According to the page, they have posted everything on it with the consent of people sharing their stories. I hope that's true. I'm gonna, you know, when I'm editing, try and see what I'm gonna share, what I'm gonna put on the screen and what I'm not gonna put on the screen. Uh, the first post was made on March the 29th, 2021, where Cancel Ned, the page, uploaded a screenshot of TikTok comments. The comments were how Ned cheated on his girl multiple times with his current girlfriend, Hannah Kim. You know how he's dating Hannah Kim right now? Well, apparently he cheated on his missus to be with Hannah, which I find to be absolutely crazy. Like, just don't cheat on someone. Just like let them know, bro, this is what's up. I've said this before. If you fall out of love with someone, I think the, the utmost respect you can at least have for them is just honesty. And I don't think that costs a lot. I know it's going to be a hard conversation, but baby, baby, it seems you're hard from someone else like bro it's just too disrespectful for my liking i'm sorry like what are you doing like i said i've kind of uh 
kept up with this lady for like i would say a year and a half maybe two years i know a lot of people are saying that now her aesthetic has changed and she looks like she's dressing more like a baby and she is she just looks completely different since being since being in a relationship with him Let me explain this. You can dress different since meeting a new person because they could have actually like taught you more about different aesthetics, different looks and everything. I'm not going to fault people for changing their aesthetic when they meet their partner or when they meet the love of their life or whatever the case is, right? Like sometimes you just get introduced to more things when you meet someone new because they have experiences, they have knowledge in certain things as well. But I think a lot of people are kind of, you know, scared in a way. You know, uh, because it's like the girl that we once upon a time followed and we once upon a time were a fan of has completely done a 180. Ned allegedly t also took money from his ex-girlfriend to spend on Kim. Allegedly, one of his friends exposed him for cheating on other girls and said Ned talks about women as if they're objects. Now, let me just say this, right? This is, again, based on the article. I do not know this man. Um, quite frankly, don't want to get to know anybody who does behave in this manner, if that is how he actually behaves but can i just say if you degrade women because you feel you can do that because you feel entitled to do that then that is so wrong of you and remember please remember the power of women i think people get effed up sometimes people forget like the significance of women being on this planet you know like people love to take the right mickey and degrade and treat them like animals oh I drop this, you pick it up for me. That's just an example, right? I can't stand it when people dehumanize each other. When you are gonna go ahead and degrade a woman and treat them like they're flipping objects, bro, but then that same breath, you want them anytime you want them, that don't sit right with me, it doesn't. And I think a lot of us probably know someone who acts like that. For a lot of us, we've had to cut off other people from our lives who just don't know how to treat people with the upright most respect. No one's perfect in this life. No one can ever claim they're perfect because <laughs> you're taking the right piss, yeah? Far from perfect, but there are some things that are just common sense. Like when your mom's asking you why you have no partner, you're trying to say, oh my God, no one wants me. No, 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 no. We, we, we know your attitude, we know your behavior. And we, you're right. No one wants you, bitch. Someone with that type of audacity is gonna have karma hit them, I promise you. Like, how are you gonna take such intimate photos of people and videos without their consent? And then what, post it on the internet? Or what, use it against them, blackmail? Or just have it on your phone, why? Especially when there is no consent. If it was something that you guys mutually agreed to do, then that's complete fine. That's a different situation. There is no consent as in, babes, I didn't give you permission, so don't do that. So there was someone who came forward. I'm going to go ahead and read a bit of their story. But whilst I'm doing that, I'm going to go and do my eyeshadow. I'm going to go in with this palette by somebody who's cancelled. But I just love the pigment. I'm sorry. I can't bring myself to throw it in trash. The person is trash, but this palette, <sighs> it's a little bit of me. Hey, so I just want to share what Ned has personally done to me. It's honestly so sickening. He's been doing this to so many other girls as well who are also minors. I was 15 at the time, not turning 16 anytime soon. And he was 18 turning 19 in like a couple of months or so. He was fully aware of my age and did not care at all. He would always try to FaceTime me and ask me very personal questions. At first he would just tell me it sucks that I'm still a minor. I think guys who've been gas, and this is not just guys, but I think because I've reported on a situation very similarly, AKA the James Charles one, I feel like a lot of people feel just because they have clout of however much, they feel they can just like slide into people's DMs and everyone's gonna like worship the grounds they walk on. It's like, no, like just because I follow you doesn't have to mean I'm attracted to you. Maybe I'm just a fan of your art or I'm, I'm a fan of, I don't know, your outfits. I'm a fan of the content that you produce, you know? Like people feel like, okay, because people follow me, it means like I had that going for me already. Basically he would tell me it sucks that I'm still a minor and just constantly compliment, but nothing too crazy. He would always ask to FaceTime me, but it would only be late at night. I hate this story. I hate this. I hate this. These are the screenshots of the messages, which I would put on the screen. Yikes, 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 yikes. That sounds disgusting. I'm so sorry. Mm. I know you embarrassed. You still embarrassed? He said, wait, are you actually 15? And she said, yes, I'm actually 15, LMAO. Cute though, I can't go after you. 
yeah you should have stopped right there and then she said bruh i'm not worth gel sir and then he said you don't know that though straight face I really feel like people I'm not talking about a particular gender i'm talking about just in general people need to understand the the um conversation of consent i don't know about you but i hope people are doing this when i'm talking to someone when someone's talking to me the first one of the first things they would ask for is age you want to know why because you don't want to go to prison there are billions of people on this planet when i hear another james charles story <laughs> about how people are literally not asking people for their age or you know their age and you're still trying to pursue something it's disgusting what do you expect to happen you expect to just have a slap on the wrist no In this day and age of social media she said bruh trust me i'm not worth a case he said i right, here look if she can pee she's old enough for me i'm sorry who what um listen i don't even want that to be explained she said okay ned if you say so and then he says so is this happening and then she said is what and then he said are you gonna be mine and then she said bruh ned didn't we just only meet like a week ago only trying to call me yours i like this person's vibe because i feel like a lot of people would have ate that in a shop and be like oh my god ned anything for you i'll bust it open and it's like bro don't be just like going after these famous tiktok guys just because they have clout to their name like okay okay he said, I'm kind of impatient and I'm not trying to have another guy holler at you. That is so, like that actually makes me feel so sick. Don't be, you know, falling for someone just because they have a blue tick or because they have X amount of followers. Like that doesn't mean anything. Like who are you as a person? Once your followers are gone and everything, who are you as a person? What do you stand for? What do you believe? Something, I don't know why these concealers smell very off, but they do. Another alleged friend of Ned said the influencer was creepy since middle school and would harass many people who threw around the N word and the F word regularly and bullied his schoolmates. I don't F with that. And you know what? A lot of people do these things just to fit in. A lot of people, you know, say racial things because they just want to fit in. And it's crazy because I feel like society doesn't accept black people. Society hasn't been so accepting towards the LGBTQ plus community. And people like this dude here, knows that and still uses that to target other people that is a bully and somebody who should be called out for their wrongdoings if the person has changed then great but it doesn't seem like it it kind of strikes me as somebody who feels as though because you follow me you must like everything that i do you're gonna worship me kind of mentality no i'm not gonna worship you bro i'm not going to go and talk to someone your own age the fact that you were willing to um literally commit a crime just for this person i just don't understand why people can't go for people their own age like there is so there's too much people on this planet too much people on this planet for you to be settling for someone who is a minor move on please a younger sibling i'll make sure to preach this to them they might get sick of me saying it but these things are important and i don't know why i personally in my life felt like i missed the chapter of having these really informative conversations hence why i'm so passionate about these things based on experiences based on things that i've even researched as well or heard from others i share this with you guys i don't know how old you are i don't know your walk of life your situation some people hate their parents some people absolutely adore their parents but some parents just don't have this conversation with their kids out of them being scared or out of them maybe just not having that conversation with their parents when they were younger but these are important these are the actual real life ish people need to hear especially with the day and age of social media and the way people can view things and the access i want to share my experience with him as well since it's long overdue i met him off yubo from a friend who said he was chill i was 16 at the time and he was 19. he'd always joke around with me saying how if he comes to cali he'd want to you know, I laughed along but felt hell uncomfortable since I was dating someone at the time. He knew it as well. After I broke up with my boyfriend, he hits me up saying he filmed his first first strap. I didn't think much of it until he whipped out his. He asked me if it was good. I played along hoping he would eventually stop texting. He then asked me to send mine. I told him I didn't do first straps and he kept insisting to send. I eventually left him on red. A few months later, I encountered him and he said he was dating someone. I was relieved since he had a girlfriend to give in to his wants. All he did was badmouth his girlfriend saying he was only staying with her for her money and shamed her kinks. This man is trash. I'm so sorry. I'm not sorry. What am I talking about? This is everything you would avoid in a person. Like this is a walking red flag. And do you know what annoys me the most is when someone thinks they're untouchable, when someone thinks that like this is not going to be brought to light. Because they use and manipulate people and play this whole, oh, but you followed me. A screenshot of the chat between herself and Ned, and then she shows a video. Um, and it says here, but after that one time, he sent me out of nowhere 
and at the worst times i never ended up sending back okay i get what she means sometimes when my family was around me as well so she basically tried to say that like he would basically send her nudes when no, at the most random times unprovoked when her family would be around sometimes he told me you're cute but you're but you're snitch woman was too stunned to speak gonna change your behavior trashy ned's actions have taken a darker turn as more allegations have come forward the page shared another screenshot where it accused a tiktoker of publicly humiliating a girl with special abilities do they mean like special needs is that what they call it in america honestly speaking clout is become a drug for some people like chillax you're just not a good person people i feel like people cover up how genuine they are based on numbers. Like, so what? Someone with like a million followers doesn't mean they're a good person, bro. You know what they're capable of doing? You don't know what they were up to last Halloween. Like, do you see what I'm saying? Like, you never know. And that's not me judging people, but like, I'm only gonna judge somebody who I feel like genuinely needs to be read. Because for the longest time now, you thought you could get away with it. Yeah, people can change. Can you change being homophobic or being racist real quick? Can you change your dating pattern? the comments you make can you change it real quick if so let me know let's go ahead and talk about ned's apology hannah kim we're going to talk about her in a minute but like i just want to go ahead and talk about him and everything that he's been up to before ned uploaded an apology video he requested his fans and followers to report uh the cancel ned page ned released a video on his instagram on the 15th of june i was in korea due to covid i met this girl and i'm gonna refer her to as girl a me and her our relationship was never official it was never exclusive but she got jealous that I was talking to other girls at the time. She threatened me by saying that she's going to ruin my life. I didn't really think much of it and we went our separate ways. After I left Korea to attend my university, I saw an account on Instagram called Cancel Ned John stating that I was homophobic, racist. I saw girls preyed on minors and just Waking up every day and seeing fake messages and fake stories made up about me. It was the most stressful couple weeks of my life. Amy, you're the first person that called me when this stuff happened, when this whole situation went down, asking if I was okay and FaceTiming me. But while FaceTiming me, you were on call with girl A, Blair, and other people that were behind the account acting like you were friends with me and you said that, oh, I've known you since middle school. We were both in California and I've known you for the longest time so you could trust me. But Amy, you treated me like shit in high school. You always talk shit behind, behind my back. You told our whole Korean, like you told the Korean community that I was this weird kid. But when I met you in college, I tried to give you another chance, maybe thinking, oh, she changed. But I don't know if you remember this, but the reason why I rejected you is because when we're in a public setting with a bunch of friends around us, you were making fun of my major saying, oh, like how much does an art major make when he graduates from college? Like, do you guys even learn anything? Do you, do you guys just paint and draw all day? And you also talk shit behind your friends back I thought you changed when I saw you in New York, but I guess people just don't change. On TikTok, I'm not gonna post for like a couple months. This whole thing just traumatized me and it really hurt me, but like not even me personally, but it hurt my friends, my family. I'm not gonna respond to this anymore. And for the people that supported me throughout this whole, whole cancel, whole situation, thank you. I appreciate it so much, you guys DMing me and asking me if I was okay and debunking the stuff that they made about me, telling, um, like showing me how it looks fake and you know, just always being there. He was just basically going on to explain everything. He denied everything and said that everything was orchestrated by one of his ex-girlfriends, according to him. There was no labels like boyfriend and girlfriend among them, but the girl liked him a lot. The girl was not responsible for the cancel Ned account, but she had access to it. Ned accused one of his friends, Blair, 
of being the person behind the account. Ned threw some strong accusations against Blair for the better half of the video, but denied all accusations against himself. And that's pretty much the end of that situation, to be honest. But let's go ahead and talk about this other article here that says Hannah accused of infantilization and enabling Ned's actions. I think I just want to say straight off the back, when you are around somebody who isn't a likable person, who's been cancelled, who's been called out for X, Y, and Z, especially when you are in a public relationship with them, a lot of people are going to see you as an enabler. A lot of people are going to be like, but why hasn't she left the relationship then? Why is she still there? It says it's unknown when Ned and Kim started dating. People on the internet reveal that the pair have been together since June 2021 and the two confirmed it a month later. Ned went public with the relationship first on July the 29th, 2021, and Kim did the same on August the 16th, 2021. But since that day, Kim has been getting backlash for dating Ned and enabling his behavior. I don't know whether people on the internet feel like they shouldn't do background checks on each other, but like you, you should be doing more background checks because you have the accessibility towards like whether someone's been problematic or not, because that would be out on the internet, especially if they're a public figure. While Ned is the Kim is receiving harsher end of the backlash. And I think it's also because she has a bigger platform as opposed to net. Let me know if you're more of like a brush person or a beauty blender person. I'm actually very curious to know. I'm gonna go ahead and bake. I'm gonna, actually, I'm not sure if I'm gonna bake because this is where the problem starts. Someone said it is fair to say that Kim is fully aware of the allegations against him. I think a lot of people have been going to her DMs and letting her know like this is what your man had been up to. A profile with the handle user 092898 wrote a detailed post on November the 4th about Kim and what she's been doing. Someone said her content is low-key just enabler content like the really tone deaf super baby girl type of pictures usually you say it's personal preference and each to their own you do you however she's dating someone that has a reputation and her content changed when they started dating so it seems to yes cater to that and someone said right i've been waiting for people to comment on this because it's just weird someone said for real i was thinking the same thing her vibe and instagram aesthetic completely changed like it's giving cute baby girl and i don't know but she's been getting too pale as well that's another thing people have been complaining about when it comes to Hannah, let me know your thoughts and opinions, especially for those people who've been rocking with her for the longest time now. Like, I want to know what you truly think about it. Kim has been posting pictures and TikToks dressed as a child and doing childish things, which many of her fans and followers have found disturbing. This has led many people to speculate that Kim was playing uh, to her boyfriend's fantasies. Similarly, she's also been accused of blackfishing and heavy tanning. It has also been exposed that she's been deleting the comments of such accusations that I'm going to keep it real with you. I did not know. Babes, I didn't know. Wow. I know to say like silence helps certain situations, but like in, in this context, it just wouldn't, it'll be doing more damage. I'll be honest with you. And people are going to keep on talking about it until it's being addressed. I've never used this before. I've never, ever used this before. But like, I just, I love the way it looked on someone else. And I was like, bro, we're not the same person, but like, I still want the same effect. And I think it's possible. <laughs> this is how it looks. Look at that. It's kind of shimmery. I don't know how I'm supposed to use it. Okay, so that's pretty much it for that situation. Kind of curious as to know what's going to happen next. This is embarrassing. I literally have been speaking for like over an hour and I haven't even done my blush, my lips. Oh my God. I'm going to go and do that off camera and then I'll return, I guess. But you guys saw like my base and how I do all of that good stuff. Blush is blush, lip liner is lip liner. I'm going to come back and then we can finish off this video for sure. It's just mad, isn't it? Now we're going to use this brush right here. And just dig into this. This is the best highlight I've ever owned. It's a Laura Geller. I bought it a couple of years ago on eBay when I couldn't afford it. Like I genuinely was begging for it because I saw Nikki Tutorials had it. I was like, ah. I'm gonna go ahead and use this on my nose. Can you see that contour though? I'm gonna go ahead and use my finger and just blend that ever so lightly. Now I'm going to go ahead and move on to lips because I hate the way my makeup looks when I don't have my lips on. I think for me, this is one of those crucial steps that I can't go without. And it has to be, for me, the right type of brown, this or anything deeper. I'm thinking of just doing a clear gloss. So like you guys know me, I just, I can't, I have lipsticks of course, but like I just have to put gloss. I already look better. 
Yes, I'm feeling this. I'm feeling this. This is what I'm talking about. I would recommend. Okay guys, so that's pretty much it for today's video. This is the finish, get ready with me. I could have gone in with a bit more bronzer on my forehead just to like bring back the color. But honestly and truly, I feel like I have so much makeup on. Like, you know when you can feel it. This is the final look. Um, I can't wait to take some pictures and you guys are probably gonna see it. It'll be my profile picture on YouTube, but also you might see it on the gram. So go and follow me over on Instagram. It's a fun time over in there. And that's a promise. Comment your thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section. Thank you guys so much for working with me in today's video and I'll catch you guys in my next one. Bye.